I'm on my way to Bermagui, but I could not drive past Malakuta without popping in to see this man, Grant Shaw. Now, you catch abalone for a living? I do. And you've promised me that there are some abalone in the bottom here and you're going to go in and get them. Oh, I sure will. I'll go jump in and see if I can rustle a few up for you. I love the way it works. Seriously, I've been fascinated by abalone at this part of the world for so many years. Oh, there's one there, mate. <laughs> oh, I reckon you'll get it. They move pretty slow. I'll better get in. Let's go for it, mate. Now, that's some serious abs. <laughs> so we're literally in 2.8 metres of water here and apparently the abs sit underneath the weed. So Grant's going to go along, lift the weed, then pull the abs off. It's just sensational. In this part of the world, it's all black lip abs, not green. Oh, yeah, baby. Beauty's in the eyes of a holder. Abalone and even a sea urchin. Um, that's a spiky little thing. <laughs> Look at that. That is a sea urchin. They are abalone, just as he promised. I'm very excited. Well, I've got the sea urchin. You've got the abalone, mate. What species? These little gems here are black lip abalone. So are they small, medium or large? These ones here are beautiful size. Now, you're telling me they actually taste good. They do. They're not a pretty fish, but they're a delicacy. Mate, they go around the world. So you've got an abalone licence. How long has your family been in Malakuta chasing abs? Oh, our family has been here since the 60s picking these things up. Wow, so you told me a story about your dad coming to Malakuta on a holiday, he's at the pub, just give us the short version. <laughs> he walked into the pub uh, and it was pretty wild. Back in, the, back in the day everyone was drinking champagne and he walked up to someone and said, what's going on here? He said, underwater gold rush, it's abalone. And uh, yeah, moved there the next week, never left. Now in the old days, what did your dad pay for his abalone licence? <laughs> oh, yeah, I think it was the price of a fishing licence, I think it was like three or four dollars. And if he was to sell it tomorrow, which is about 50, 60 years later, what would it be worth? Oh, a couple of million. <laughs> How'd you like to turn a couple of bucks into a few million? That's just gold. So you're literally what? telling me these things are everywhere, but apparently these things are everywhere as well. Now this looks pretty, but you're telling me it's not a good look. These things are a pest and uh, they're, they're damaging underneath the, the kelp beds. Uh, I don't know if anyone's heard about it, but yeah. We, uh, they are delicious. They're, they uh, go on menus and stuff like that, but just got to try and um, get rid of a few. So you're actually spending your own money to go down and eradicate these. Yes. You're telling me that one sea urchin can knock out one square metre of kelp and grass and basically keep it barren for a long period of time. That's correct. And once you get rid of them, uh, six months to 18 months, you know, the, the weed will come back. So this guy spends a lot of his life underwater. He's telling me these are no good, but they taste all right. They taste right. So do the right thing. Eat a sea urchin next time you go to a restaurant and please eat some abalone, even though I've got to say, mate, I have tried abalone about 4,000 ways. Can you give me a brief description of how I might be able to cook it and actually taste palatable? you got to beat it. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Well, 6.20 a.m. Bermagui, New South Wales, a game fishing port steeped in history. I've been fishing here for well over two decades. Marlin tuna, it is one of the game fishing capitals of the world. You'll see behind me trailer boats everywhere. They're going out chasing marlin, so are we. This is going to be an epic adventure. That is 7.6 kilos, so just seeing the drag to one third to breaking straight into the line. So we've got 24 kilo of line working on eight kilos. If you do this correctly, and we've got just on eight kilos there, so that's mint. If you do that correctly, you can catch very big fish on very light line.
fact that we're slowing down would mean that Chris has just seen more bait in the sounder. Picked up some nice slimies where the boys are looking for bigger models, the ones that might really excite the marlin. So we'll stop here, drop down again, see if we find a few good ones. So that's our bait, slimy mackerel. Where I come from, the Netherlands, or mum and dad anyway, that'd be Tucker. about 20 miles out of Bermagui, as you can see, not magnificent conditions, but supposed to settle during the day. We've just got to the spot. Chris has found the spot by looking at all the charts. This is where he believes the fish to be. Righto, so we've rigged up a skip bait. Nice fresh slimy mackerel we caught earlier. Um, just pin him on a nice circle rig there. We're gonna get him out, troll him in about eight knots, seven knots. Well, once a marlin sees it, he's not going to be able to resist getting that bite. So we'll get him out and try and get a fish. Today I'm fishing with the Casa boys, Matt on the deck and his brother Chris upstairs driving. Now you've seen a few marlin in recent weeks, tell me what happened at Malakuta. Uh, just, just about what, 10, 15 days ago? Yeah, so I wasn't, you know, we, we didn't plan to go out there and catch many fish. You just sort of go out there and have fun, but uh, what we seen was just next level. It was just bait ball action everywhere. You know, we hooked 21 fish for the day. We landed 16, you know, it's once in a lifetime sort of stuff. And, Landed 16 marlin. I'll be happy to see one today. What do you think our chances are? No, we've got good chances. Looking good here. The bait's up high, good water, heaps of birds around, so it's just bound to happen any time. And these Casa boys, they can seriously smell them. Is there a bait ball there? Oh, the marlin! Oh, He's on it. Come on, eat it, eat it, please, please. The forward, 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 forward. We've got a look at the bait. Here he goes. I think we're bent. Go forward, Chris. That's the way. One. He's got to let it. Hard, 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 forward, forward. He's coming towards us. Oh, there he is. Put it up here or not? Yeah. Dropping the jag. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How good is that? That was just incredible. That's why you. Oh, there he is. He won, brother. Right, mate. You're on. Where's those gloves at? Good. Oh, yeah, look at that fish there. It's good. Woo! That's good, man. Excellent. Well done. Yeah, baby. Oh, that is just incredible. We saw the bird. Seals all over it. Maddie, you shoot out like an NFL football that slow. We saw the belly. We threw it. And we hooked up! Oh my goodness me! Stop it! Here he comes. Larry's out the back. Oh! Backing down this fish. Putting some serious hurt on this fish. And I'm struggling to stand, but it's all good. 
we've come south this morning for a really important reason. It's a public holiday. There's hundreds of boats in Burma. We want to fish to ourselves, didn't we, mate? 100%. Nice little answer, that one. Oh, yeah. He's going deep, Chris. Yeah. I've seen a lot of things in fishing, but that was pretty radical. I'm probably too old to use a word like radical, but it was pretty radical, wasn't it? It was. So he, he's starting to go a bit down. You know, he's up on the surface before, but you know, with this bit of swell, it's going to be a bit difficult, but we'll get it done. Um, we'll paint him up a bit we, we, once we're settled in and we'll get him back up to the surface, try and get a tag in him and let him go and get another one. So we've got a bait ball just here. You know, we could probably throw another bait out now and, grab, and catch another fish, but in these conditions, I think one at a time is pretty good. Looks like getting a bit of line back now. This fish has gone deep. Just changed the angle on him, which is a really important game fishing skill that Chris is all over on the bridge. Just change that angle, hit him up. I'm using the big muscles in my legs just to pump this rod tip. And literally it's about gaining half a metre at a time. You're not trying to get 10. It's a big fish. Take your time. Use the rod, the reel, the stretch in this line, just slowly work him up. Try and get him up so you guys can have a good look at him. Um, we'll just see how epic these fish are all lit up and you know jumping around the boat. The marlin fishing tackle has changed so much over the decades. As to the techniques we target them, that bait ball action mind blowing. This rod reel Shimano Talica 52 speed, my favourite game fishing reel in the world. 24 kilo, high vis maxima, fibre glow. It's pink so the skipper can see it from a long way away. And the rod, 24 kilo Shimano Tagra Ultra. I like the bent butt. In my opinion, you have to listen to me. If you're fishing anything over 15 kilo game fishing, only ever use a bent butt. They might look like they're broken, but they won't break you. He's coming up. Here it comes. There it is. It's between us and them. You. Coming at us. Oh. That's what you want to see. Stripe marlin jumping. That's a beautiful thing. And it may look like organized chaos, but everyone's got their job. They have their place. Woo! Yeah, baby. So it may look like organized chaos, but everyone has a job here. And when a big fish comes up that close to the boat, doing the big semicircle, coming towards you. It is an epic, epic thing to see. And when the alarm went off at 5.30 this morning after an 11 hour drive, and I went, oh, why do I do this? Well, this is why. That was just incredible. That's why you, oh, there he is. Well done, yeah, baby. Oh, that is just incredible. <laughs> Up. Here it comes. There it is. It's between us and them. Oh. That's what you want to see. Stride marlin jumping. That's a beautiful thing. I'm fighting my marlin, we've backed back into the bait ball and we can see a free swimming striped marlin amongst the seals. As soon as we can get this fish in, we can catch that fish, but this fish is big and it's just gonna take time. I'm trying, boys. Come on, have a good all day. It's a good problem to have, isn't it? Yeah. I had a good look at this fish, probably about between 80 and 100 kilos at a guess. And at that size, it's hard to imagine this fish is just three years old. And the maximum lifespan of a striped marlin is only 10 years. Hard to believe a fish can grow from a tiny microscopic egg 
to 100 kilos in just three years. That is why the ocean is full of them. So there's double. There he is. He's gonna come up hugging us here. There he goes. It's been working for 20 minutes. Chris has driven off this fish and it's gone. So what we just did then was change the angle on the line. The worst thing you'd have on a fight like this is up and down, 90 degrees to the rod tip. Ideally, you want the fish on the surface. If he's on the surface, you can back back on him and chase him. And what we've done there, we've actually changed the angle from 90 degrees to about 45. So even though I lost line, we may have lost that battle, but we will win the war. Here we go, he's wind on. Wind on's on. Slow down. How's the power of that fish then? He got on the back of a wave and he rode it like Kelly Slater. I can see his big caudal fin waving goodbye. How good was that? Yeah, was cool. He's on top again now. That's all he's doing, he's just tailing down Z. That's good, Chris. There he is. Got him up. He's on top. Here's our chance, lads. That's good driving, mate. How exciting is this? How many people get to fight a fish bigger than themselves? Look at that thing. Here you go, Chris. I can't believe the power in this fish. After half an hour, here he comes. There he is. Tags in. Well, that is a magnificent strike marlin out of the port of Bermagui. You always come here with high expectations, but to get a fish within the first hour of fishing, to catch it the way we did, I know you're a strong boy, Matty. I will pull him a little bit closer for us. I'll try. It's a big striped marlin. These things are awesome, awesome fish. There we go. So tags in, it's time to let him go. When you're ready, mate, he's coming at you, he's coming at you, go! Yes! Woo. Cracked it off, that is a bloody good fish. I shouldn't even say it on TV, but I'm excited. Yeah, baby! Yeah, boy, well And done. you, I love your work!